Hey guys, um, it's Dark Joe here, and uh, today I'm bringing you a video of the Kino run that I did. I attempted the world record, which is 134, I think, but um, I only got to around 72, um, which I was kind of kind of disappointed with. But then again, I am also quite happy with around 72 because that is still quite a good round. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the strategy. As I obviously got that round, I thought I'd use that as, as the strategy video for this week. And um, first, I've just got to say the quality is bad because I didn't record um, myself. I'm just taking the video from the stream, so uh, the quality is not very good. But you just have to bear with it for this one video. Uh, so what I did was I was mainly just training around the stage. Um, and I also use the electric barriers or traps, whatever you want to call them, to my advantage. So, um, what I was doing was starting the rounds, well, for the start of the rounds actually, I was starting in the spawn, and I would uh, wait there for about five seconds or so, and then, by, by, well, basically, after five seconds, they would have all have spawned there. So, I would run down into the stage, and I would turn the uh, electric barrier on, on my way down there so it would just after about 10 seconds the first wave of zombies would be dead because they'd all just sp uh, spawn at the spawn and just uh, they just die straight there and um, so then I'd continue to train around the uh, the stage I'd group up um, a train there and as soon as I got them all grouped up I would um, well, I'd use a thunder gun shot usually depending on what my ammo is though. Uh, so what I would do is I would um, kill them with a thunder gun that one, one time then I would uh, well, the next time I would use the barrier actually no I'd, I would use the I'd use the trap first and then I'd use the thunder gun so then while the traps were recharging I could use a thunder gun shot just to speed it up a bit or I could alternatively um, use the trap at the spawn again and just alternate between the two traps that's what I would do if I ran, ran out of ammo well and I had to do that at one point during the run but when you have ammo I'd say when you've got above well, when you've got more than six shots on your thunder gun you can use the thunder gun to kill them because you'll need some for in case you get stuck and for the dogs you might need them but um, yes yeah, so that's basically what I've done. There were some some little tactics I did though, that, uh, such as when I turned the the trap on at the dressing room, I'd wait right next to the trap, and so more zombies would spawn from the roof, and it just make it would make the rounds go faster because um, just the um, so I would kill a wave of zombies, then um, say five or six might spawn where I killed them, so I'd kill them as well. So it would just it would just make it a little bit faster and um, that's all you basically really need to know just uh, have the thunder gun and another weapon like um, a point weapon mp40 uh, so start of the round spawn use the barrier there run to the stage group them up um, you can group them up however you like you can go around the turret or you can go around the back of the uh, stage but they spawn really fast so after about 10 seconds or so you could go to the back of the stage and they wouldn't spawn at the back still so I, I did that quite a few times as well so you round them up there use the thunder gun shot uh, I also a lot of the time I used the thunder gun shot when they were when I went towards the dressing room and did it just um so then they'd spawn behind me um well some of them would it just makes it a bit easier so they're not all spawning uh, like they're not surrounding you with the spawn basically the spawn behind you and it's just more controlled so after that group them up again then um, you I would take them through the dressing room I'd go right uh, past the mp5k get some ammo for it uh, then I would just uh, you have to go right around the edges of the room though um, because they're still the the nova crawlers so they will they'll well you want them to come in the dressing room as well because you need to kill them and if you go too fast they might not come in in time or they might not go past the line uh, where the trap kills them so you'd go around the dressing room and what usually happens is that the uh, callers will turn around and they'll try and block you off as you um, 
as you go the other the other way around the uh, like the what the mirrors if that makes sense so you have to basically jump jump over the crawlers on your way back round and then you turn the barrier on on your way out I'll try and put it up on on the screen because um, that sounds quite confusing then uh, so then you kill them there wait by the barrier more spawn in and you just repeat the th repeat the whole process uh, it doesn't change at all the spawns get are very consistent now that well when you hit around 50 or so because they won't really spawn any faster then so you can go to much higher rounds um, than I did you'll see I'll put my death up in the end and I'll put the audio for the stream audio on as well because I'm talking about how I'm not going to die again and as I say that I am being killed I'm taking uh, all my hits so it's I've, I'll put it up in the end and the three times that I died were to do with well the first time it was just me not concentrating to be honest it's me looking at my stream chat because I streamed it all if you didn't know and um, I just I just kind of walked into them and they all kind of hit me at once and just damaged straight away the second time was due to a state change of strategy I did something which I shouldn't have done just to think just to try out the strategy and I ended up getting stuck and died the third time um, I I went to the spawn and I because uh, I what I did I went to the spawn and I used the barrier as I the barrier at the spawn as I was going towards the spawn so it would kill them there and then I thought they would spawn at the spawn again so then I could just turn back around uh, like I would do at the start of the round because they'd all spawn there and then they w I would just end up killing two waves at once but what happened was the zombies also spawned uh, at the stage side or one of them did you know where they, they jump over the um, the little rails and so as I went back through the barrier the zombie hit me as I was getting hit by the barrier so obviously that downed me so uh, I'm, I might try it again soon that run because uh, obviously I know why I went down and um, it's really not that hard you just sometimes if you get unlucky you will go down but if you I'd recommend you guys trying it and if you if, if you get really far um, say you stream it or something um, just send me a tweet and I'll come and check it out and uh, talk to you in it and um, yeah or if you if you can record it or something try it yourself try and get to a high round even though it does take a long time anyway but um, yeah then send it as a video response or something but uh, uh, quick shout out to all of the people that were in my stream uh, all the people that came and supported me uh, thank you to all of you and um, yeah please like this video if you enjoyed it um, see if we can get to 30 on this video and um, yes I'll see you next week guys I think I have covered everything in this video but if I haven't tell me in the comments but yeah cheers guys see ya they're all, they're also my mistakes are like, I, mean, I know why, I, I know why I went down, and I know that it shouldn't happen again. Oh, oh shit. saying that, okay, it's it's over. Uh, <clears throat> that was um quite coincidental. I need to watch this back now.